Okay, makeup's on. I'll run a brush through my hair later. No one's gonna see it anyway. Um, all packed. Packing up my computer to take with me. I'll get this packed up. I'll forget something. It'll probably be my toothbrush. <laughs> but I'm um, gonna take these these um, Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. It's amazing. The styling of a funeral is super important for the living. And you know, who's to say that our nephew can't see us? I believe that he can. So, Lace? He loves to go in the car. <laughs> Do you love to go in the car? Yes. On our way to the vet, they have a great... <clears throat> I'm checking in for kenneling. Okay, give me just a moment, okay? Thank you. Okay, so that was a teeny little bit weird. <laughs> Leaving my boy with someone else, but, and he just let the guy put the leash on him and, you know, of course, had to smell everything on his way in and just, didn't even look back once at his mother. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maryland house. Yeah. Gotta lock it. <laughs> that was exhausting. I couldn't get any pictures of DC because we were driving and the traffic was really heavy. But this is Maryland house. Yeah. It is this whole area that is on 95, which is this way. And this way and it's like an island where you can get food you can walk your dogs it's very pet friendly so if you have pets and you're coming this way it's a great place to stop and let your pets run around let your kids run around it's really lovely there we go <laughs> there is the sign it's really beautiful here really lovely gardens it and is so very um clean and friendly and safe and security is provided by the maryland state police okay this is an amazing view i think this is the delmarva bridge no it's not eric's right in his head no um it's an Incredible view. I will find the exact situation. Normally there are not all these trucks on it, but I guess they're keeping it safe. That's out towards the ocean, and that is back towards the mountains. So beautiful. Let's see what this is here. Cecil County. I always thought it was Delmarva Bridge, but maybe it was just another bridge, a big bridge. Oh, okay. Rest stop. I forgot these rest stops were up here. I generally don't see these kinds of rest stops. I just do it once. This one is um, near Dover, Delaware. Yeah, trucks gotta stop somewhere, but so do families. <laughs> 295 North toward New Jersey Turnpike. Okay. 
So we're crossing over from Delaware into New Jersey over this bridge for anyone who is interested in this part of the United States. Unfortunately, the bridge is blocked by this horrible oil thing. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Huh. Wow. I'm trying to keep a really steady cam shot here. taking off in a plane. Look at that. Okay, so now we are in New Jersey. And I will tell you, please keep left. My dad is actually from this part of New Jersey. And now we're on the turnpike, the New Jersey turnpike. I know it's like famous all over the world. The police are all yeah, up on everyone today. They were just piled over there in the median. So we're technically headed straight for New York City and we'll go by it. So I'll show it to you. And there is, I know you all are waiting for that New York City sign. Anyone? Who's watching from abroad? No, I know it's definitely a long ways. Eric just said it's a long ways. He's right. It's about two hours, but it'll just be mere seconds in the video world. And I will show you the city in just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So this is the area where my dad is from exit two on the turnpike from America who says the New Jersey turnpike is garbage. This is what it's like from top to bottom. Beautiful. Way prettier than anything we have in North Carolina. There's the sign. And this part of the woodland and the countryside, the farmland is where my dad was born and grew up. top of the turnpike so as I said most of the turnpike is beautiful and this is what people judge I think because they fly in and they see this is what they see when they fly in because Newark airport is right over here and Kennedy is over here so lots if you're traveling here from ooh, there's an airline landing if you're traveling here from abroad or from another state um, Make sure to have your satellite navigation system updated and check if there are any gotchas beforehand. Make sure you have everything entered and mapped correctly because this area of New York and New Jersey can be incredibly difficult, as you can see, to navigate. Okay, there is the city right over there in front of that truck. There's the Freedom Tower. Move to the right in one mile. Over there. There it is. Yeah, where the trade center used to be. There is the Freedom Tower. I think. 
it's hard because I can't really see through the lens with my eyes I can see the city but it's so faint I'm not sure if I can see it I know I'll look in the footage when I'm editing and I'll be like Lynn it's right there the world's biggest city the smallest little bit of land okay we are in New Jersey, and it's hard to say from one block to the next. <laughs> oh, we're in the we're in the borough of Paramus in New Jersey. They call things boroughs and town townships, villages, things like that. So we're in the borough of Paramus right now. This is Route 17, and we are headed Route 17 to Mawa. And all the crazy people over here that are headed to the city, New York City, as I said earlier, New Jersey people call New York City a the city, like it's the only city, <laughs> which it kind of is. There's lots of old timey diners up here. Um, and as we travel north, we're traveling north, the city is back that way, New York City, back that way. Um, as we continue this way, it will become more and more beautiful again and you can even see maybe in the far off distance a kind of a start of a mountain the Blue Ridge Mountains actually run along over here all the way from the south all the way up here and um, this is a really old town this whole area is very old I think that's one of the reasons I love it up here you know you find stone walls and stone built homes and it's because there's no stone in the south, there it says, which is true. But um, it's just, everything wasn't destroyed during the Civil War. So a lot of the things that were built, okay, now we're, now we're not, we're still in Paramus. We're still in Paramus. Um, everything that, that, oh, then Saddle River, Apple, okay. Okay. Saddle River. Upper Saddle River, Ridgewood, Hohokus. Oh, and there's this little, the fireplace, that old, that old restaurant has been here for 60 years, Eric said. 60. 60, that's why I said 60. So, um, I remember that was one of the first things when I came up here that I thought this place was like a Bing Crosby postcard. Because that fireplace restaurant reminded me of something like from a holiday movie. <laughs> so charming. So sweet. I love it up here. I mean, I just, we have to start coming up here yeah, more Westwood often. Westwick, Wood. Westwood, and Waldwick townships. Okay, these are townships, not boroughs. Then we got Ridgewood, which is coming up up here. Washington Township. Okay. Saddle River and now Eric grew up in Upper Saddle River. There's Saddle River right there, the exit for that. And anyone who spent any time in this area, oh, the borough of Hohokus. Here we are in Hohokus. Anyone who spent any time in this part of the world knows Route 17. So maybe you're living in California now or Montana, but you went to school around here and if you did you know Route 17. Okay there's the Hohokus sign. That's what you get. You don't have to get very far away from New York City before it is just beautiful rural woodland charming farmland. You just need eight million dollars to buy a house. <laughs> That's true. Okay, Borough of Waldwick, so we're in Waldwick now. You see, it's like every five feet. Yeah, so this is, as Eric said, all Upper Saddle River. This is, oh. by the way, this is Bergen County, if anyone is interested. Okay, now Upper Saddle River and Ramsey. I know a lot of people know about Ramsey. All Upper Saddle River, y'all another Upper Saddle River. So again, Upper Saddle River is all, okay, Lake Street, I remember that. Okay, so we would take this, right. 
Right, right, right. Right, right, right. So we would take that and we would come over here to the grocery store. There's a grocery store right here that Eric's mom would take me to. The shop right. Oh, it's not there anymore. Okay. So when we would come up here, um, when we would come up here to visit Eric's parents, this is the kind of, yeah, Ramsey Outdoor. This, it's still there. This is where we would go. We would come to dinner here. And from the top of this hill, if you look back this way, you'll be able to see the skyline of New York City if you look back. And look at that. Those are the Blue Ridge Mountains. Yo, look, there's our Southern Connection right there. Now here's Pompton Lakes and Mawa. Okay, here we are. Hampton Inn. All right, so we made it. I have to come back. Yeah, okay, I'll lock it. We made it and we're gonna head inside. Okay, now let me just be clear. There is no lifeguard on duty. <laughs> this is our hotel room. This is our hotel room in um, New Jersey. As I was saying, hello. As I was saying this morning, we are here shockingly for uh, the funeral of our nephew. We're extremely sad about it, but we're grateful to be able to spend this time with our family, the Rasmussen side of the family. So this is our hotel room while we're here. This is the main door. Here's you come in and this little kitchenette, there's a little fridge. So I'll go out and get all our food and bring it in here. There's a little coffee bar. You come straight in and there's like a little seating area and this amazing big desk so I can work a little bit this week if I need to. Um, and I can edit a little bit as well. Not too long. This is the view of Route 17. Television. Eric is, is over here swearing. <laughs> closet um and they this is a hampton inn by the way and they do have these in each room they have all the like regular soaps and things um sink is weirdly out here the first thing eric said was like the sink is out here in the middle of the room that's kind of weird yeah he was just saying uh, the room at that we had in south carolina which i forgot to show you I'm not going to do that again uh was actually nicer this one's just bigger because i wanted to be able to have enough room for us to spread out a little bit because we're going to be here for a little bit longer and then this is just a regular good old bathtub um and blue so good closet and they have ooh, they have a an ironing board and iron so we're gonna go get the rest of the stuff and yeah that's better <laughs> we've just come up from breakfast and I am going to take my phone off. I'm going to put my face on. <laughs> we are in Upper Saddle River now and we've been pointing different buildings and I wanted to get the grab the camera out so I can show you all this over here used to be I think a farm. Be a ranch here Oh, a ranch with rodeos. Okay. Used to be a big day camp here. Okay. And it's very distinctive building up here. There's a lot of um, yeah, yeah, lots of stone. This is not something you see in North Carolina. These stones are everywhere. These stacked rock walls. Um, and again, I think this all used to be farmland. Of course, now it is a very tony, upscale neighborhood where people live who work in the city, in New York City. Um, and we are headed to the Stone Church. Oh. Yeah,
And this is the beautiful old, old stone church. I feel like I'm talking lightly. This is where we knew we would be coming for Chris's funeral. And our family plot is in the back. We'll take you over there. This area is new. This was all just field and grass, and they've had to add 17. Yeah, we're going to go by there and look at those. The This church is so old, there are gravestones from the 17 and 1800s. And Eric's grandfather bought this plot. Was it grandfather? Uncle Eric bought this plot in the corner. This is the um, plot for Christopher. Oh, this is this is Eric's mom. Mom and dad, Jean and Eric. There's Eric and there's Jean. And... Oh, this is the Rasmussen family plot. There is a there is a um, I don't worry about snakes up here. <laughs> I just reach right in. There is a plot of stone here. We think it says first me, then you. But I just thought it was so interesting 25 years ago when I first saw this. Um, and I took a picture of it years ago and I haven't been able to find it. So I wanted to make sure to capture it. And then, of course, here is the the Rasmussen stone. And Eric W. Rasmussen. I think I think this Eric is named after that Eric. We have Bessie Rasmussen here, who was married to Eric's grandfather. And we also have Richard, who they were all military guys because they were all World War II generation. Josephine Rasmussen, loved mother. Who was just who was that? Your Aunt Joe and Uncle Dick at her feet, where he should be. <laughs> they never, there was a big argument for some reason. They never brought up stone for Pop. Where it's really? Oh, but okay, so Pop is buried here, here. But there was never, we should get a stone for him, y'all. What do you think? Should we get a stone for Pop? I think we should. Um, Leave it in the comments if you think we should buy a stone for Pop. That Pop is Eric's grandfather, who is a brother to, no? Just told you, my dad's brother. The, oh, okay, so. Brother to Paul and Eric. Okay, so Eric's Pop actually came. Okay, there's Paul. Paul, Eric's son. Okay, so Pop is buried here, mm -hmm. and he came from Denmark in the 20s, I think. And his sons were Eric, er, er, let's see, his, his sons were Eric. That's Pop's brother. Okay, that is Pop's brother, right there. That is Pop's son. That is Pop's brother. And Richard is also Pop's son. Where is Uncle... Larry. Okay, Uncle Larry, who I knew very well and loved, loved, loved. He's a, a lot like my husband, Eric. Uncle Larry is buried in another church, I think, because that's where he was a member. And then we have, and this is so strange because I remember this being much bigger, but I still remember 2008 wasn't that long ago. Yeah, so it's Chris will be right there, and then Chris will be right here at 36. Um, and then there's another um plot there. So, as the Rasmussen's will, they're right below the trees, it's the most natural place for the, 
the Danish boys, who are all woodworkers, all carpenters, all builders. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll get a hold of the old stone church, find out exactly where Pop is, and we'll get a stone for him, and we'll put it there. So the old stone church is holds lots of memories for Eric. His friends got married here, family buried here. This is basically our Gretna, Virginia church um, for my side of the family. I would have loved to have gotten married in this church. This is such a beautiful place. Look at these ancient, ancient. Excuse us. <laughs> Look at some of these stones over here. I mean, they have a great view of the, the road. Let's see. There's one over here that I might be able to see. Excuse me, everyone. Pardon me. I always feel like I have to do that. Okay, this one is Lucretia Zabriskie, wife of John G. Hopper. Actually, there is a building down here called the Hopper Building. And Eric's just disappeared. So I think this might be Miss Hopper. It says, who departed this life the 10th day of March in the year of our Lord, 1829, aged 34 years and 30 days. And then there is this beautiful, beautiful headstone. Look at that. Look at the carving. So gorgeous. And it looks like they've tried to fix it. 1820 is the year of the death of this individual, Mar Mariah. Delaware? Delaroe? That's right. Wife of... The Theol Ryer, hmm. 1839. This is John Snyder, who departed this life April 20th in the year of our Lord, 1839, aged 60 years, five months, and two days. Excuse me, pardon me. There are these, I think these are yew trees that have grown up around. Look at this tree, y'all. And there are headstones that were placed here. And then the tree grew up around them. If this tree does not look like it will step out and talk to you, I'm not sure what will. He just looks like he might wink. Like there's one eye, maybe there's another eye up there and that's maybe a nose or an ear. He's over protecting these stones here that I can't read. This monument here, placed obviously long before the tree grew up, stone so that it, it comes from, you know, obviously originally when the church was built over here are the oldest 1820. I didn't see anything, any stones from the 1700s, but it's possible those stones that were worn down are from the 1700s. This one knocked down, fortunately. These over here in the late 19th century, late, late, late 19th century. And then you come to this wrought iron gate. I mean, you just don't see these kinds of, of cemetery gates in the South much because we just didn't have the industry for a long time. They had the industry in the North to be able to create these wrought iron fences that are so beautiful.
These beautiful old, old, old. And there is the, the date marker up there. 1898. Now, of course, that came much, much, much later. Um, probably the original building was just this. Yes, okay. The original building was just this part and you can tell because there is a mark there in the in the archway 1789 1789 these two doors on either side they were put up in the late 19th century, both say 1898 on them. But isn't that just the most charming, charming church? Uh, this is a perfect example of a Yankee town. It's very kind of European in feel. The houses are close to the, to the road. Um, there is a very, uh, close-knit feel to these towns up here. They call them boroughs, as I said yesterday, townships. Um, Ridgewood. Ridgewood, New Jersey is like some of the best shopping. I would say like Cotswold shopping, London shopping, Glasgow shopping. It is the, one of the chicest towns in New Jersey. Okay, so here we are at the Wilson house. The Wil let me find some light. There we go. There's, there's, whoop, there, <laughs> there's Greg Wilson, my cousin-in-law and amazing guy. Wave, wave, wave. Hello. Hello. I'm cooking. He's cooking. We're in, where, what's, what borough are we in now? Ranch. We are in Ramsey, New Jersey. Remember I was telling you how there's all these little boroughs up here? that um, you go a mile and it's you're in another town and they're very like de defensive or not defensive, but like you're in a new town. There's like police department and school district and everyone is very unique. So we're over here today. This is their house. I won't show too much because I don't want to like put it all on the internet, but here. Here is my here is my this goes on. my cousin in law Karen Wilson, married to Greg, who's cooking in the kitchen. This is their great house in Ramsey. He said, right? My short term memory is really bad, so I wanted to bring the camera in because I wanted to introduce everyone to um, Eric's to, cousin. to Eric's cousin. So there's Eric. Y'all know y'all know Eric. And this is his Karen. cousin Karen. After a while, I'll just tell his away. his dad and Eric's dad were brothers, and we've been sitting here drinking coffee and talking about the Rasmussen family. And I just wanted to vlog it because I know a y'all will want to know what we are talking about, and b so that I will have a record of it. So there you go. It is the most charming part of. The country, in my opinion. Look at this beautiful. Oh, 
I mean, it is, if you're going to travel to this area, find a B and B in one of these little villages. Find a little rental cottage in one of the, these villages, and just walk through the main town, the main street. You'll find all kinds of shops. Train station. Train station, right here on the left. It looks very European. Oh my God, it looks like a German train station. Look at that. Franklin Lakes, Midland Park. So if you're looking at a map, we're in that neck of the woods right now. is the awesome train station, Allendale Station. I imagine that will take you into the city. Oops, there. Okay. So this is Allendale. There's the little town sign. So this is what you'll see. Oh my gosh, how charming. This is what you'll see. Look at that. Nothing's changed. This adorable town. There's all of these restaurants and shops. Look at the flags, y'all. The Americana in Allendale. Look at these little buildings. Oh, lovely. There's a place to eat over here. A, B, and G, that apparently is a big institution up here in Allendale. And again, these flags and this couple of blocks of stretch of town, that is typical for all these little boroughs and townships up here. There's the church up there. Allendale Motors behind us. Um, I mean, honestly, you could do a whole summer of touring these little boroughs. New Jersey tourism, hit, hit us up, we'll do it for you. <laughs> um, it's so charming. And it's not much bigger than just a few blocks, so now we're out of it. Look at that beautiful house, look at that. So these homes, they're in Allendale, and they can just walk to the restaurant. They can just walk to the jewelry store. They can walk everywhere. So if you decide to come to this part of New Jersey and rent a home for, say, a week, you can do walking tours throughout the little village and shop and eat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, there's more. Look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so we are coming up on Saddle River. And... Yeah, Saddle River. Why do you say it's in? Oh, there's, there's a sign. Spencer Powder. 
Oh, expensive houses. Yeah, inside the Beltline can be expensive. Look at the mast that's supposed to be a tree. That is hilarious. Isn't it charming? Oh my gosh, this is the most charming town. I've always felt like that. Yeah, and there should be a... Okay, that looks like town hall, but that's not the town hall. Oh, and there's like this charming shopping area over here. Bank of America, which is everywhere. So this is along the sort of main stretch Saddle River Road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, if you go far enough, we'll go back to the old stone church. These homes have been here forever, and they are on big swatches of land. Dr. Ming's house. Dr. Ming's house. Dr. Ming's house. His office and house. His office and house, and lots of renovation and construction like we also are seeing in Raleigh. Some of these newer homes are not worth looking at, but um, again, charming fences everywhere. Y'all have. Yeah, to... Oh! You heard it first here, Polaroid. folks. Polaroid, the inventor of the Polaroid. And Eric worked on his house. Yep. So, y'all have to remember that in the South, after the Civil War, we really had nothing. Um, oh gosh, look at that giant house. That's an old house though, right? No, oh, that's a new, that's not worth looking at. That is an old house. I remember that one from years ago. Old with their stone, stacked stone. It's not stacked stone traditionally. It's this, it's this round stone that they have up here. It's not like a flat kind of stone like you might see in the garden. Yeah. So, except that one. But this one, this is one of my favorites also up here. This one up here. And this one is an old one. Now we're headed to where Eric grew up. This is Locust Lane, y'all. So as I was saying, in the South, we, you know, everything, everything was destroyed after the Civil War. Yet this is Uncle Eric's house. That is Eric's this Eric's uncle, that red stone stuff is unique to this area, sandstone. And this was Pop's house up here. Oh, it's big. They added that addition out the back and got rid of the screen porch. Oh. Hey. But they kept the sandstone, right? Yeah, but they ruined the house. I'm sorry. It doesn't look super bad to me, but I know that's hard to see when someone comes along and renovates the house you have all those memories in. And I remember coming through here as well after we got married and before even. Eric brought me up here when we first started dating, going back to the like early 90s hasn't changed it's all coming like memories coming back at any rate so a lot of these homes in these villages that you see up here you have to remember that the war was not fought up here it was fought in the south and so the homes that are up here had had a chance <laughs> so right well right but i'm talking about in the 19th century after during the civil war the civil yeah, there used to be a tiny house there. Now there's a big house. So up here, all of these 19th century homes had a chance to not be bombed. <laughs> Eddie's house over here. And the Koskinen's over here. So a lot of these houses that we're looking at in these villages, they just had a chance <laughs> to survive and thrive. Uh, and this, this was That's Rancho's house. This, oh, okay. All right, we haven't gone around. Aunt Jo was behind Eric's parents, and then this was the little Aunt. pond that Eric used to skate on as a child. My dad built the pond. Your dad built it? Yeah, he built the dam and dug it out. Okay, I don't think I knew that. 
Now you probably get arrested for going down there. Oh, so cute. And you go for the hammer for that. Did I get out? With horses or with scoops? With horses and a scoop. Yeah, because the scoop used to be like Because that's how old you are, that your dad used horses, a team of horses and a scoop <laughs> to to uh, create the box. I asked him what it was for, so that's why I dug the pump in it. <laughs> y'all heard it first here. I know. I don't understand all these giant houses, y'all. I mean, our house could be a little bigger, but this is... I mean, I remember this was all... I don't remember that house. They might have uncovered that. Looks like yeah, they, they that. tore down the one that was there. They tore down the one that was okay. there. Yeah, this one also is new. This one right here is original from my memories. And then this house right here is where Eric's, where Eric grew up, but not this house. It's for sale. It, it, yeah. I actually, I saw this online. It's for sale. No, this. They knocked that house down. Yeah. This down here is where there used to be a garage and the, oh, sorry, you're right. The garage was on the other end, but there was like, um, a downstairs over here and then the back there used to be a pool back there that Eric's dad finally filled in but it was a just a double um, not a double a um, what was it split level it was just a regular split level and now all these houses are enormous this one is has not been changed this one I've seen before this one I've seen before. That one, see, this is what I'm used to seeing is these charming kind of Cape Cod style homes. But a lot of these people work in the city and they have, that one is still the same. They work in the city and they have city salaries. These are all new, but at least they made this one in the flavor of the homes that used to be here instead of some of these bigger, Kind of more gaudy homes. Yeah, that one's the same. That looks like a 1950s house, like a 1950s Cape Cod. Dogwood Hill. That's right. That's what I remember. <laughs>